for summer. Okay, Sagwa's next. Sagwa! I sent Sagwa to the village with a small scroll for the reader of the rule. Well, looks like you're next then, dear. Oh, no need, dear. I've... I've already attended to my grooming. Today's rule from our most magnificent magistrate. Oh, seems that there's one more ruling from the palace. The magistrate forbids anyone to build a campfire in the woods. The trees are as dry as kindling at this time of year, and he does not want any forest fires. yourself into this time. Ah, playing in mud puddles again, I see. <laughs> what you need is a good bath. Oof, no, what you need is a good trim. <laughs> now stop squirming. You don't want me to slip your tail by accident, do you? Sagwa. Tell us! Tell us! <sighs> All I can say is, is that it happened far, far away. When you were in the village? No, no. Further, much further. In the far mountain woods. Oh, really? And how did you get all the way there and back so fast? I was... I was, uh... Some bad bats! Huh? I had just finished delivering a very important scroll to the reader of the rules when two big bats swooped <gasps> down and swept me up into the air! Secret. No questions. Uh, uh, hey, put me down. I know Fufu, and when he hears about this, he's going to be really angry. You know Fufu? Yes, and he's my best friend, too. Ooh! <laughs> Fufu, the biggest, scariest bat in the whole colony! Yeah? Then what happened? Yeah. 
talk about it. Aw, Sogwa. You gotta tell. Yeah, you gotta. <sighs> well, then they... They dropped me. <gasps> You won't believe who I met next. Why, if it isn't a little meow, what's your name? Sogwa? And who are you? I am Senla, the Rain Spirit Dragon. I live far up in the clouds. But I like to come down to Earth from time to time, too. Wow, you met a dragon? Come on, you weren't saved by a dragon. Was too. And he said... Oh, look at you. You're covered in pine sap and bark bits. I'm sorry, Sagwa, but that stuff will just not wash out. I'm going to have to give you a little fur cut. What's it like having fur? Must be nice and warm in the... <laughs> What? Rain spirit dragons don't spit fire. Well, well, this one did. And fire is very dangerous in the woods. <gasps> oh, my. Dreadfully sorry. Don't know what got into me. Maybe your fur. You set a fire. The trees are as dry as kindling this time of year. That fire could spread to the whole forest. <gasps> Oh dear, what do we do? What do we do? I know. Fly down to the sea, get a big mouthful of water, and spray it all over the fire. Great idea. And you're coming with me. Watch out! Sago was kidnapped by two bats, and then a dragon sneezed and set fire to a tree. And now they have to fly to the sea. Whoa, ho, ho. back up, back up! Kidnapped by bats? What bats? She'd rather not talk about it. It was most horrible. And when she told them you were her best friend, they laughed. Well, that's really rude. They shouldn't laugh at you just because your best friend is a bat. No, they were laughing at you, Foo Foo. What? Me? Who were they? Fifu and Fofu? No, no, there weren't really any. I know. It was Fumfu and Fatfu, wasn't it? No, no. I. That was my call for the brave Fufu fighters. Don't worry, Sagwa. We'll find Fumfu and Fatfu and punish them good. Oh, no. Oh, wait. I don't want anyone punished because of me. After what they did to you, Sagwa, the magistrate should order them never to enter the village. And they should be sent to bed without their suppers. I... I wasn't really kidnapped. What about tea for supper anyway? I... <laughs> you don't want to know. I... I mean... If there's anyone to be punished, it should be me. I know. I'll make them clean the bat cave from bottom to top. And <laughs> boy, does it need it. Fufu, I was not kidnapped <gasps> by any bats. I... <gasps> not kidnapped by bats? What do you mean? Oh, I get it. You can't talk. Those bats are still around here, aren't they? you got my message. We got a couple of bad bats in the area. You all spread out. Check the bamboo bushes, the lotus pond. Oh! The... Stop! Stop! There are no bad bats, no dragon, huh? no fire. I was so embarrassed about the holes in my fur that I made it all up. And once I started, I, I just couldn't stop. You, you lied to us? You mean, I called in the Foo Foo Fighters, and there's no one to fight? <laughs> of course I knew you were making it up all along. Fire-breathing dragons. And just why did those make-believe bats of yours laugh at me? I'm sorry, Foo Foo. I... I... Well, how did it end? What? 
How did what end? Did you and Shenlong go to the sea in time to put out the fire? Oh, there is no ending, Shigua. It never happened. Like Donghua said, I was just lying. Well, you're not now. I mean, if we all know it's made up, the rest of it won't be a lie. Just a good story. A really great story. By the way, Sagwa, how did you really get those holes in your coat anyway? Sagwa, are you all right? We just overheard Cook tell Tai Tai he had to cut patches off your fur. What on earth happened, dear? I did the margin and salt water and a clay pot exploded all over me. Wow! A clay pot exploded all over you? Did, did a dragon do it? No, no dragon. And no bats either. So what happened? Tell me! Tell us! Well, there I was in the village, watching a potter turn a pot on his wheel. It went round and round and round and round and suddenly... a choo BAM! <laughs> Blobs of clay flew right at me! Nowhere to hide! I was hit! Blob! 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 Blob!